Hey there guys, Luigi Vance here. Welcome back to an episode of Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we did things. I think Ryuji got to rank 10. Wow, that's crazy. This episode, crosswords! Let's do it! Let's learn the crosswords. Medicine of varying leg legality. That's how you say it, right? Legality? Uh, man, we're talking about drugs today? Wow, that's kind of weird. Oh, uh, it's opium. That, that that's the poppy. That's the poppy shit right there. Mm -hmm. And then imported immediately. Yeah, immediately. Uh, that, I think that's what the hip kids call uh smuggling. Now, if I know how to spell it, that is not how you spell smuggling. <laughs> oh boy, hold on, hold on. I think it's just lit it's just literally smuggle. <laughs> There's no ing. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Shut up! Anyways, the, the varying legality, we all know it is narcotics. You know, the, the shit people uh, smoke every day. <laughs> I had to question my spelling for a second. Narcotics! This term applies to any medicine that dulls the senses, but is more often used as a generic term for both legal and illegal drugs being misused. Morphine, a common, a common narcotic used as a painkiller in many medical facilities, is named after Morpheus, the Greek god of sleep. That makes more, a lot more sense than you think. All right. I see. Wow, I couldn't even figure that one out. Wow. Wow. All right, so we got some things to do today. First off, we're heading to back to the red light district, spending more of our yen, and we're gonna have ourselves a nice little chat with Miss Fortune Teller over here, Chihaya. Hey, let's ask Chihaya about the Holy Stone. Hmm? She's with a client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. You want to eavesdrop on them? Hell yeah, let's eavesdrop. Um. Uh, how are you feeling? Or how are you healing? I I I'm fine. It's my fault anyway. Yuya said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. B but I I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? Now. Mm, let's ask the tarot. Oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Is this? Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring, uh, bring with it great misery. What kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. What? Hospitalized? A arrested? I knew I shouldn't let Yuya throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock, that I should be giving it to him instead. Well, this is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one from you. What? Uh, what? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay up to uh, pay in up to 36 installments, right? It, um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Yuya. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? Bro, it's just rock salt. Right, it will make our jobs way easier if you could do if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. And it's clear that Jihaya has some uh, some fortune telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Cosmo, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This will be the perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Hmm. Hmm. Meowing. What? Hey, were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. Yo, it's not good to scam people, you know. I don't appreciate your accusation. The thing 
Yeah. You see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human methodologies. Fate is... absolute. A although, I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. Uh, um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know any other way I can approach this problem? What's your boyfriend's name? Huh? His full name is Yuya U Uchimura. Um, why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Y yes, what do you expect to change with that meager information? I'm gonna change fate. What? You honestly believe you can do something? I... I trust you. Excuse me? It, it feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I would rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. W what? <laughs> you! What do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. <laughs> I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change your destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize that, uh, the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her. With a holy stone. Well, then are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. And thus, we get a request! Look, I'm just more pissed off that I wasted 100,000 yen on this stupid-ass rock salt. I'm just saying. Hey! Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Yeah! Let's read the fucking speed reader! Hmm? By handling your eyes and brain separately, your efficiency... Blah, 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 blah. Whoa! That's a pretty scientific approach! At least the illustration makes it clear to understand. Whoa. So you finished reading Speed Reader. You started flipping pages much faster towards the middle, so I thought you were skipping parts. I can already see that you're able to read with more efficiency now. All right. And thus our reading speed has improved! So now we can read at double the speed, allowing us to cover twice the material! TLDR! If a book has two pages, two pages slapped to it, we get it done in one day! Again, it is the most useful thing. And I'm glad it's available now. Just kind of wish it was available earlier. <laughs> but now when we never we read books, it will be t twice as fast and we won't have to waste another day of like reading. Hey, we can't just let that abuse case go unaddressed. The target should be a memento, so let's hurry up and deal with them. Hold on, cat. We'll deal with mementos another time. And by another time, I mean, I mean, I mean another. Are coming? What? Oh, uh, do I have? That is not the menu. I need to know. Okay, I do have a counselor because we are hanging out with Maruki today, and this is kind of an important day. Well, not an important day. Well, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we're done. <laughs> Why does it reek of medicine? Hey there. Oh, it's you. Scorcher, right? Gotten so hot lately. Really makes me reconsider a lab coat, to be honest. Do you have any time today? Actually, I've been planning a little... Um, well, I should ask, just ask, are you free today? I mean, yeah, other, why else would I be here? Hmm. Yeah, let's hang out with him. Thank you so ah, much. Ah, great. Well, come on in. Make yourself at home. Now... Well, today's just going to be another back and forth as usual. Usual, Or will it? Today's your lucky day. Please take a look at what's on this table. I've been making you listen to all this tough stuff about traumas, pain, and grief lately, so... I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're a fancy kind of cookie, too. They're the kind of fancy cookies, too. Yo, my favorite snacks! I thought I'd get a surprise for you since you've been so kind enough to indulge me all this time. Go ahead, enjoy. 
Yo, this looks great. <laughs> Go on, don't be shy. I've got enough for seconds, too. Man, I'm so glad I've taken this deal. Oh, yes. Oh, I know. As long as we're talking about cookies, they, they actually reminded me about this psychological experiment. The scientists prepared two containers and put the same kind of cookies in, bo in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie, but the other one was filled with cookies. Ten of them. So then, when they, so then they had their subjects try cookies from each container and asked how their taste compared. Which container's cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? Probably the one cookie? Right. Correct! Easy to guess, huh? There's something called the Law of Scarcity. It's about what you uh, it's about what you imagine from the name. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law into action just by observing how people get excited over limited edition merchandise. Holy shit, this is so relatable considering all the scalpers taking up all of the damn PS5s and Switch OLEDs. I'm just saying, it's real true. Or, you know, the limited edition Pokemon Oreo cookies that someone's probably selling for $5,000 on eBay. I'm just saying! Also, can you tell how dated this video is? Good of you to notice. You know what? You're right. Aha! I know, right? Don't you think that's really fascinating? In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Not only that, not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, uh, subjective ob observive, uh -huh, subjective observable difference in our reality. Basically, your perceptions can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. <laughs> it's all below the con conscious level, but it's really incredible. Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea? That your unconscious desires may have changed the taste of the cookie. Hey, as long as it tastes good, I don't care. <laughs> That's definitely not the usual response, but it's one I can understand. It probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart can falter, or be unreliable sometimes. But if this experiment proves anything, is that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring someone mere joy. For example... For example, that story I just told you. What if you, v you deemed that one cookie, and it had been the best cookie in your life? Say I never revealed the trick behind it. That cookie would have remi remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subjective truth, a, a subjective truth of your reality. I guess so, yeah. Right? I'm glad to hear you say that. Basically, what I wanted to say was... If this idea of preconception could be studied further, and actually applied to treating people. I feel like I could help a lot of people. Maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Then again, it relies so heavily on uh, perspective. Some people might call it a lie, or seeing it as running from problems. Still, even if that's true, I still believe that method could save a lot of people. Sorry. Oh, yikes! I'm so sorry. We round up into getting into an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. Whenever I'm talking to you, somehow I always end up going back to my research. I, I truly am grateful for everything you've done, not just because I can get your opinion on these things either. It's more like... It's as if I'm talking to an old friend. <laughs> Maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all for the sake of our deal, right? So we say anyway. Yo, does that mean we're friends? I think that means it's we're friends. Anyways, we get another useful ability. Mindfulness! Now we get a random chance of recovering SP whenever our SP is low. All right. Hey, you never know, that happens out a lot more than you think. Now then, I better show you another way to mentally train yourself. What I'm going to teach you today is... Blah, 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 blah. Thanks to its mental training, my mind feels stronger. Hooray! Oh, in here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? Yes! Give me the donut worry. Well, see you. Make sure you get home before it gets too dark, okay?
Oh, my phone be vibrating. Hold on. Oh, this is Maruki. Sorry about earlier. It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another ac big academic discussion. I mean, I really don't mind. You're always so kind. You might be a better counselor than I am. I've always been like this. I get so hyper-focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Oops, there I go rambling again. Sorry, sorry. Alright, see you again soon. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let me get back to what I was trying to say earlier. Um, if you have been following along... Oh, hold on, we got a text. The deadline's tomorrow. We're gonna be okay? The pictures are gone. He has no avenue to threaten us anymore. That is, if we're able to trust what Kaneshiro said. Don't say such scary stuff. He can't relax just yet. He may still end up releasing, be, end up released from police custody. For real? That is, unless they have decisive, decisive, <laughs> decisive evidence, like a confession. I think it'll be fine. True. There does seem to be some movement. Sis actually sent me a message saying she won't be home tonight. There's a chance that the police have found their breakthrough. Ooh, does that mean it happened? The timing is perfect. I guess we'll just hope for the best. I'm gonna stay up all night watching the news to find out. Don't, don't stay up too late. Alright, okay, let me get back to what I was saying because this is actually important. If you have been following, for some weird reason, this playthrough and have been following, made it up, make it up to, uh, what is it, rank 5? Rank 5 of Maruki's, uh, coffin up thing? Or you have barely just started, you're probably on rank 1 and probably going on to rank 2 right now. This is the... L no, I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Look, my notes just says it's the last rank up, but uh, TLDR. We are at a we are at the halfway point of his little story, and we're gonna take a pause from that story until September 20th. There is a reason to that. It involves actual plot that I can't get into. So I guess the TLDR is that if you're following and you make it up to rank five. That's it for now. You can ignore Maruki until September 20th. If you haven't make it up to rank 5, you still have time. But just remember the deadline of September 20th. I gotta go feed a plant. I gotta feed this plant. Uh, we should give it to Mega Fertilizer right now, right? Yeah, let's give it to Mega Fertilizer. I gotta buy more. That's right, because I was so low on money. I was like, shit, I need to spend money. But I don't have enough money. Yes. It's fine, it's fine. If I do need it, I can just go out and buy it. It's not like it's hard to come by. All right, let's call Kawakami and hang out with her because I think oh. it's time to hang out with her. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, are you perhaps Sato-san? Mm. That voice on the phone wasn't Kawakami. Maybe you ask, should ask for more details. Uh, who's this? This is the head nurse at the Ayoyama Hospital, speaking on the behalf of Kawakami-san. Kawakami-san actually collapsed and she's been admitted to our hospital. Do you know our hospital's address? Her room number is... Mm. Oh, this isn't good. Let's go over there right away. Jeez. Just a bit overworked. No need to make a big deal about it. <laughs> but thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Uh, how could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? There you are. What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Takase-san, you contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. It's really any in inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. Uh, I'm sorry. These are the are these are Takase Kun's guardians. <laughs> Takase Kun's guardians, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. 
Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. <laughs> Messing around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? <laughs> tisk tisk, and all after all you did to him. I'm sorry. So when are you gonna do when are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Yo, don't pay them. Satakun, stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adopted son, uh, Ta Taiki, died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. <sighs> That's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place. And she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So... It's not like we're trying to extort you, madam. That is the exact definition of extortion. But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taiki. It's almost like he was murdered. So you no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. <sighs> I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only way. Yo, think this through more though. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money? I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. Meow. <sighs> I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to to to, uh, to Takase Kun. So if his guardians demanded money, then I just have to pay them. But that's the wrong choice. Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. I do not like this direction that we are heading. But whatever, I guess the rank up's a rank up. All right. I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here re work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. Get home safe, okay? Look at all those police cars! Did something happen? Oh, looks like they're searching the premises. Another psychotic breakdown? I can't handle this. Does that have something to do with those posters we saw? Did they arrest the Phantom Thieves? Oh boy!